Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Bharat Jain D365. So today, let's try to explore how to add a percentage column for PNL report using financial reporter. So let's pick one existing report, go to general ledger, inquiries and reports, financial reports. For those of you who are new to financial reporter, I have created a video explaining how to create a report using financial reporter like row definition, column definition, report definition. So those who are new, kindly watch that video before coming to this. Now, so let's pick this report. So let's try to understand what do you mean by percentage column. So let's say this is the report. Now, the requirement is that let's pick total COX as an example. So the total COX is 31,500, whereas each main account has contributed certain amount. So now the requirement is that I want to know the percentage of contribution of each main account with respect to total COX. So that's the requirement. So let's understand from an, uh, a formula perspective or an Excel perspective, right? So if I download the same data in Excel, so let's say this is the total of amount. Now I want to know the percentage contribution. So the formula for that would be 3600 divided by 31500. So that's nothing but 11 percentage. So I can see, I can download the report do this formula in an excel sheet or i can build this formula inside my mr report so that's what we're going to explore today so in order to add a column that's coming for uh, let's say this is the column definition now i want to add one of the column that has percentage before adding a column we should go to row definition and in the row definition i should pick the base amount for calculation when i say base amount for example, for the COX, if I want to calculate anything related to this for percentage, this is my base row, right? Because against total COX, I'm contributing. If I want to do for income, this becomes my base row. If I want to do for non-operating expense, this becomes my base row. So that's why first we need to define row definition. Then I will insert a column definition. So let's go to report editor. So this is the uh, demo row definition, which I had created in the previous video. So here, let's say I want to add my base row that will be used for calculating the percentage. So let me insert one row here. Now, whenever you want to add a base row, which will be used for a formula calculation, that particular row will not be printed in the report. And every time that column or that particular row should be above the uh, place that you want to see it. So for example, for total income, I will take it above income header. So in the format code, so here you can see there are formulas that is available, right? So in these formulas for uh, adding my base row, you can see a change base row for percentage allocation. So this is the formula that you're gonna use to calculate or to add the percentage row. So wherever it's required, for example, I need for total income. So I've added that and I need to say total income row that is number 220. So this becomes my base row for calculating all the uh, income total from row 130 to 190 against this total income. Similarly, if I want to do for cost of goods sold, let's say I'll insert one row here. So this row will not be printed. So double click, select CBR. For this cost of goods sold, the base row is 430, that is total cost. So enter 430. Now, uh, for gross profit, I'm not adding. That's why I want to do for non-operating expenses. So let's insert one more row here. Now again, select CBR, that is change base row. Here, select the base row, that is 670. So this is the setup that you have to do in row definition. So once you give the base, now I need to insert a column where I need to see the percentage. So let's save this. Once you save this, now go to column definitions. So in column definition, select the column that is part of the existing report. So double click on demo column definition. So once the column is loaded, now let's insert column against, uh, let's say I want to see a percentage for this particular column. So let me right click, then insert column. 
once I insert column, so here in the header, I will give 005, uh, that's the same as column B, but I will insert or I will call it as percentage because I want to see the percentage change here. For this particular column, I'm not applying any financial dimension filter. Therefore, the column type that I'm going to use would be calculated column. So I need to pick calculation from row and column. That's why I will be selecting calculated column. So once I select column type as calculated, now go to the formula row. So here, if you see, if you observe uh, the Excel sheet, the calculation, so I need to do the calculation like the cox divided by total cox, right? So here, I need the percentage for B column. Therefore, I'll select B divided by base row. This is the formula. So what is the base row? If you remember in row definition, I have given base row number. So based accordingly, the system will calculate in such a way, it will pick value from B divided by base row. So this will be used to calculate all my percentage. So now this is for 005. Similarly, if I want to do for other columns, let's insert here, insert column. So let's take 002. Then I'll take percentage. Now here, the column type, it will be calculated formula. Then come to the formula. So in the formula, so this will be D because I want to apply percentage for D column divided by base row. And then save. So currently I have applied only for B and D column. So accordingly you can go ahead and do for F uh, and if it's required for G, H and I columns, you can go and insert column against each of this and insert the formula and it will calculate. So once this just save. Now let's go back to MST. So this was the earlier report. Now let me go back and generate the new report. So click generate for June 30 and click OK. So here now just click on the view to see the report. So now you can see there's a column added called percentage and you can see there's a percentage that is reflecting. So if you see here, it's showing 0.22 and the total as one. So if you want to make this 100 percentage, right, and want to show it as the percentage, then go back to your, uh, the reporter. So go to column definition for the particular column where you want to show as the uh, percentage. So go to format of currency override, double click. So here you can see percentage from currency. Let's change to percentage and click OK. So you can do that for the other column also. Format of currency override, make it percentage, click OK and save. So now let's go back to system. Let's generate the report again and click OK. So once it's generated, let's just view that. So now if you see, it is showing in percentage. So in the percentage column, it's 22%, 77%, total is 100. So Cox, each account contribution is 11%, 57% and you can see here. So this is how system will show the calculations for percentage. So now additionally, let's say there is one row where I can see it is 0%. So there is an option in financial reporter that whenever the row or a particular column as zero value, we can hide that from the reporter. So for example, this particular uh, main account doesn't have any transaction, but still reflected in the report. So let's see how I can hide this from the report. So go back to reporter editor. So that was a row. So go to row definition, then click on demo row definition, double click, open the row definition. So here you can see this was the main account that didn't add balance. So if you see here, there is something called as print control. So if you double click here, you have a lot of options that is available. One of the option is suppress row if all zeros. If I select this, in case if this row has no value, that will not print in the report. So you can do this Excel for all the main accounts. So if I do this here, so where whichever main accounts that doesn't have any value, so all these main accounts will not be printed 
in case if the value is 0. You can similarly do the same for column definition also. So let's remove this here. So save. Now let's go back to financial reporter. So before 401200 was visible, now let's generate the report again. So click generate and click OK. Once the report is generated, click view. So now you can see the column or the row that had a zero balance is not visible. So that is how you can suppress values if there's a zero and you don't need to print that in the report. That's it for today's session. Thanks everyone.